Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, um, I'd started doing this and I suddenly thought, I might as well film it and have a quick chat with you all. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, what I'm trying to do is find the best way to uh, sort out my AB and like extra special drill storage. You'll see as I go along. Um, I've said before in uh, previous videos when I first started um, doing my AB storage, that I didn't really want them in plastic bags in a box because I want to be able to see them and be able to access them better. And I had started putting them in these smaller containers so I could see the colours because I do want to be able to, you know, look at them and think, oh yeah, that's about the right colour. Um, I do think when you're putting an AB on a painting, it doesn't necessarily need to be the actual uh, DMC number that you're using as long as it's a near enough colour. Uh, it will still sparkle and a lot of them I don't have the DMC number for anyway the ones that have come in special drill so because they're special drill kits they don't have DMC numbers on them so I've just been collecting them up as I've gone along and as you can see I've got quite a few and I ran out of space in this and um, these are the two smaller drawer cabinets that I've got so this one, um, I have got an unboxing on this where it shows you. And I think these are a 30 storage, 30 bottle storage. And I do like the bottles. And then I spotted this one. Um, and again, I did an unboxing on this. And actually when I bought it, I didn't realise that it was a lot bigger <laughs> than the smaller ones. So when I put them together, I think you can see there, look, look at the difference in size and even the width. You know, they're quite, um, how can I show you that? Show you that way. Yeah, you, you've got that little bit of extra width. So the bottles are a little bit longer. Um, they're, let's see, they're taller. I don't know whether they're as wide. Oh, they are as wide. So they are a bigger bottle. So they will hold a little bit more. Uh, Let's get on with this. So what I've done, I've got my labels and what I'm going to do is put a round label on the round ones and a square label. Then when I get to my square gems, I'll put a square label on ready for if I do manage to match up the colours and get the correct DMC number, then I'll be swinging along with it and I'll have them a bit more organised. So I've got my uh, stickers that I bought from uh, Admore Zest, Rebecca. These have got four kids at 147 on but she is actually admorezest.com now. Uh, check out the website. She sells these. I think they're about a poundish a sheet, um, but they're really good quality and they are all die cut as well, so it saves messing around. And I don't like the fact that they've got a little diamond on and it just makes them all look a bit more uniform and a bit more pretty. So, yeah, right. So this one uh, that I've started there is an AB. This is 666. This is the... Uh, take the old stickers off what i've tended to do is try and pull the old stickers off the packets oh that's a 999 i'll be getting a policeman coming to the house way uh, so, <laughs> so i've been using the old stickers just to keep them labeled while i decided what i was doing so i'm hoping that these will all the ab's will all fit in this storage system and then possibly the smaller drawers used for like the square gems and the sparkler gems um, there are different types of your gems and some of them have like an AB coating and I think they're called sparklers and then there's obviously your glow in the dark and then there's the neon jelly ones that come out and all sorts so as I say because I want to be able to look at those and see them straight away then I'm putting them in storage that I can actually see and the only thing I can find really that I like is the bottles because they will sit on my shelf um, I know there are like the little bags and things. I know Rebecca uh, Admore Zest has put them in some of her little storage bags, which is a brilliant idea, but it's just not right for me at the moment. So maybe if I get thousands of different colours, I might change my mind. But at the moment, this is the way I want to have a go at doing it. So let's put a pink one on a red one. So we'll see. I might do them in sort of colours because these are like a, a grey colour, purple, blue, green, yellowy gold and pink so I suppose that's possibly silver so I, I may be able to sort of like colour coordinate the tops <laughs> here you go me <laughs> right let me see if I can just move these bottles without tipping them all up I've taken them all out I think this one holds 40 as well 
it's around about 40 so i've got a few more so this is let me see what the only thing is with this because my eyesight is not brilliant i do tend to find that i can't always see um the sticker now then rebecca did say if you take the top cover off we used to do this with peel offs actually um, take the top coating which is what the stickers have been cut from let's see if i can get this right let me get out my pink sparkly tweezers gifted to me by chris oh tweezers tweezers i ought to have these hung around my neck that's it got you little devil so if you peel this off now then will these come off they should do i say we used to do this a long time ago with peel off stickers when i was doing my card making so that you're taking all the background away so all you've got left is the sticker and you have to do it really slowly though because sometimes they do lift up but it just means then that because i can't see them very well that uh, i can see where the edge of the sticker is i know a couple of the ones that i've done in my boxes i've actually written over the sticker so just bear with me while I do this and I'll be back in a second. Right, okay, that took longer to do than I expected, but that's quite pretty. That'd be quite nice because a mask actually for something. I may keep that. Um, oh, here I go again, the crafter in me, not wanting to throw anything away. But how, how good is that? Um, yeah, I might put that on a piece of uh, release paper and uh, yeah i'm gonna keep that okay like that right so we now have all our little stickers um all without the backing on so now i can see where to write and they will pick up easier as well so what were we on we were on six 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 weren't we is that bottle out of there nope that bottle's one of those over there i believe no it's not it's one of these <laughs> Oh, do you know? No wonder it takes me so long to do everything. So I'm going to put A, B at the top there. And this is a 666. Six, six. Also means as well, if I write A, B at the top, then I know where which way up the numbers are. So that one's 666. Six, six. And what I'm doing is putting these as much as I can in colour order as well. So while I'm looking at them, I can see the different shades. And this is nine four six i do believe that there is possibly an a b for every dmc code but i'm not a hundred percent on that let me just put that down while i get this sticker off this container so i did just put the old stickers on is it a little bit dark in here or is it me i may have to turn the lights on it was lovely and sunny this morning it seems to be getting a bit duller for some strange reason and I'm right down the bottom of this corner and I don't know whether you can see what I'm doing or not so I'm hoping you can uh, now we've got this one which oh that's yeah that's 666 as well I believe I know it in the gems oh no I don't know that's a different that's more of a cherry so I'm gonna leave that one and it's not that color no you can see can see when you're doing your colours that you know they are slightly different shades. So what I'm going to do is just write a B on this sticker and put it on. Oops, and leave the space for the number to go on at a later time. Does this look organised? It does look organised for me, I have to say. Right, I am going to put the light on, so excuse me. Uh, I do think it's a bit clearer, so it might be worth the shadows. Um, oops, that sticker's just decided to move itself to join its friends a bit further up. So let's just give it a hand back down there. Right, so have we got all the reds? Uh, yep, so let's start on what's next on here. So we've got yellows, which are like goldy colours. So let's do with the, the yellowy ones. I have more or less got them in an order as I wanted them as I was going along. And we'll put the oranges on that one as well. So, yeah, as you can see, some of them are ones that I got in the Cassian Advent calendar. 
uh, and some of them I did win in a giveaway from Diamond Art Studio UK. So they came with DMC cards as well. So we'll put the like goldy orangey colour. Let me put my tweezers away, put that back in there. Don't want to stab myself. Okay, so again, I'm just going to write A, B on these. So we need one, two, three, four, five, that's it. And it just keeps them sort of, so it just helps you when you've put your numbers on. Oops, oh look, it's because I'm tired today, so and I haven't put the label on that one. I do get really, really clumsy when I get tired. I'm not quite sure why, it just seems to be a thing that happens to me. Okay, and then these, yeah, they are the same, are both seven, four, two. And I think... One of them is the Diamond Art Studio and the others are what are left over. I think they were the Diamond Art Studio UK ones and these are what are left over from all the pumpkin paintings that I did. So yeah, I had quite a few of those. Okay, so we'll put that one on there and just take that one off. So at least some of them, we know the numbers and I'll just keep adding as I go along. So how do you store your ABs and everything? I know quite a few people are doing videos on the storage at the moment. It's great to see. I love seeing how everybody does the different ones and how everybody does different things. Oh, I better do the pink. I'll do the pink with like the pink stickers as well. Is that the only pink one that I've got? I believe it is. Yep. And have I got any in this one? Let me just have a... Oh yeah, I've got some pinks there as well. So let me just get these out. And these have numbers on. Oh, I didn't have many of those left, look. <laughs> but they are a different colour, so I've got to keep them in a different bottle. Are they the same colour? No, they're a different one as well. So there's just so many different ones. Um, I certainly don't want to be having 450 or 447, um, as you can end up with with, a, uh, with DMC codes, as I have with a lot of my drills. But, uh, yeah... So we have A, B, 3, 6, 0, 8. Oh, my writing's appalling. But I have got plenty of spares. Now then, that one says G, 9, 5, 6 on it. I think that is, um, that's a craft buddy one because that's a G is a craft buddy label. I was doing all my other gems yesterday and that's a craft buddy number. So why they've put it as a G, I don't know. And why it's 956, I don't know. So I'm going to leave it as G. Actually, I could have used the label that's already on there, couldn't I? Leave the label that's already on there, Liz. Why am I writing out another one? How ridiculous. So let's just get this label off. I really ought to clean these as well, but anyway. So they can stay as they are. They're the labels that have come off the bags. Um, I believe that one was... Uh, the craft buddy one as well craft buddy crystal art but yeah okay so we'll put those there so we'll just put the number on this one in fact you know i'm not happy with how that straight that is so i'm going to do myself another one i have got plenty of spares at the moment and i am going to be putting another order in with rebecca so i will get some more so that's that one and then there is just this color that I've not got. I do think that that was the cat eared one. I may just contact Julie uh, or July at uh, cat eared and just ask her what the DMC codes are for the ones that she put in the advent calendar. That might be easier, but we'll see. That's another thing on my list to do that at the moment. I'm just meeting myself coming backwards. Right, so let's have a look at the greens. Okay, so they're all green. I've got some lovely colours. You can see all these. I don't know. I just think it's going to make it so much easier for me to see them, to use them. And if I know that, I can just look in my box and think, oh, this looks like really nice with one of those, and I can just pinch it out, then I'm more likely to use it. I think they're all black and white now. 
go on there's another yellow there as well oh there's two yellows oh goodness okay so that's another yellow ah now then that one's a jelly so i'm going to keep that one separate because that's a jelly one okay so that's an ab307 so that can go with the oranges and yellows down you can't see this can you <laughs> oh this isn't a brilliant video today it's been a long week what can i say okay so we've got on the greens we've got an a b701 These all came in the nice little bags and I've taken them out of the nice little bags. I hope I don't start regretting that. And this is an AB907 and then we just have an AB on its own. Because we don't know what the number is. Oh, come on, tough little label, get yourself off. Get off this little container here. Oh, that was a stubborn one. Okay, so that's 907. And, oh, I've got sticky stuff on my nails now. That's not good. I've broken about four nails this week as well. That's why I've put the glitter nail varnish on because it tends to be a bit stronger, a bit tougher when you're uh, doing things. So that's that one. Okay, so what shall we do next? What are we on next one? Blues next. So we have a lot of blues. Okay. Now then, this is sort of a purpley. Oh, now that's black. That one is black, so I'll leave that one there. They're all purples. That's like, they tend to use that a lot on uh, specials edging. Uh, the picture edges. Oh, we've got an escapee in there as well. That's a different colour. Didn't have any blues in this one, did we? I think they were all blacks. Yeah, they're, they're all blacks and a glow in the dark black there so let's have a look again so let's put the ones with the numbers on first and that one is a b nine nine five oh i do like that these stickers are sort of color coded so i can put them on the top <laughs> It just makes it look that little bit more special. Uh, these two, I'll just put the A, B and A, B. And we'll just wait for the different uh, number to go. Okay, that's those two. And I think these, are, now what have I got stuck to me? Oh no, where's that one come from? Oh, that's the one. Oh gosh, Liz, what are you like? Uh, that's the different one that's come from up here that was trash. <laughs> yeah, they're the same colour, so I'm going to put the 996. And again, I think it's where I've had one from one company and one from another. And I do think one of these came in the advent calendar as well. And they did come in the pots and they do seem to be the same size as the pots that I'm using now. So that's why. Or are they? Yeah, they are. So that's those in there. Okay. So we're doing okay. And now we're on to purple. Yay. And those two are the same colour. And that has AB550 on it. But I want a nice purple label on it. So I'm going to replace the label. I'm not very good in camera shot today, am I? And A, B, 2, 11. Take off. I'm only doing one at a time because I know if I start taking two or three off at a time, I am going to forget and forget which one I'm on. And then... I will put the wrong one in the wrong place. So that's that one. So now I want two. AB sounds like Hubby's wanting to come upstairs and he's having problems with his stair lift. 
see if he shouts me. He's in one of those moods today that if I ask him if he wants help and he doesn't, he gets a bit crabby. So I'm just not asking him until he shouts. Okay. So that's those two. Oh, I do like using my labels that match. It just makes it look really pretty. So, yeah. Green, green, green. Orange, 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 orange. Ah, now then that one. I knew there was one that I'd missed. That one needs to be pink. I left the pink on, didn't it? Because it already had one on. But, so, you see, I'm thinking as I go along at the moment. This is because I've not prepared to do this video. I've just sat down to do it. And then I thought, oh, I might as well show everybody what I'm doing. And you can see my mistakes all wrong as I'm going along. <laughs> I've just knocked all the bottles over. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so, yep, I think we're all matching now. Oh, that looks really good. I'm really pleased I'm doing it this way now. Trouble is, I don't want to have thousands of them, well, hundreds of them. So what were these colours? I know that one's black. Now then, that's like a brownie goldy colour. It's a very different uh, colour on that one. It's got mm, real different maybe. It is black, but... It may be the dark brown colour, possibly one of the dark browns. I can't think what the, off the top of my head what they are on DMC. So I'm going to do this as a yellowy goldy one. So we'll just put A, B on this for when we do get um, a DMC number. So let's just have a quick shuffle these up a little bit. Um, I'm trying to keep them in nice neat rows. I don't know whether they'll stay like this. Probably will. I'll pick them up and then I'll just slip and slide. <laughs> but we'll try. We'll try. Okay, and I'll put that one there. Try to keep all the labels together as well. Don't they look pretty? Yay! Okay, so have we now got enough for the blacks? That's glow in the dark, so I'm going to leave that one there, and that one's glow in the dark. So these are all the. Oh, maybe that's that's a different one. Look, you see, that must be a dark blue then. That's not black. These are definitely the black ones. So that one, you can quite see that they're quite a different. Oh, that looks more black than these. But these are the black AB. I'm not keen on black ABs. Yeah, I think that must be a dark blue. Is it 939 a dark blue? And we've definitely got plenty of whites. I think I'll be uh, donating some of these whites. I can't possibly think I'm going to do enough snow painting the next Christmas to use all of them. <laughs> okay. So let me just move those back out of the way. So we want... Um, what we're going to do black as... Actually, we'll do this blue one first. So again, I'm just going to write A, B on it. And because it has a blue label, now I'll be able to distinguish between the blue and the black. So again, we're just having a little bit of a shift. Shift these up. Oops. Helps if you can see. Okay, that one can go there. these i'll have to put a silver one on this because i don't have a black one i haven't got any i don't know i've only got pink in me yeah i've only got pink there so we'll do this just as a b a b and the three ten three ten okay take the old label off There. And put that there. And then these are all AB 5200s. So I'll just take that one off. And oops, that old one off as well. Okay. Yeah, you can tell they're a really bright, glowing white. I do love the B5200 white ABs. On uh, the train picture, the Santa Express I did last Christmas, they look 
looked really good. So these I'll be fat of 200 or four of them. will be five to hundred. That's it. And they're not going to fit in. I'm going to have one extra. Oh no! I've got different lid. No, they are the same. Some of the pots do get muddled up as I move them around, and I do different things with them. Okay, so now that's definitely a different bottle. So we'll keep that one out. So we've got, I can't imagine I'm going to need more than three. So I think I'm going to uh, sort those out and donate that bottle. So we'll pop that one out of the way for now. So that is all the ABs done. I think you'll agree that they're really pretty. You can see the colours. And if I want to colour, I've got my coloured labels on the top. And I can see what I've done with it. I like that. That's come out really well. Yay! put those on my stand over here and now I'm just going to have a look at my others now then so I've got my glow in the dark ones and that's a jelly that's an empty one there that's a different they're they're like the sparklers I do believe where they're like a coating on a jet, an actual gem rather than just a plain sort of resin drill um, or an acrylic drill. So I'll put those in there for now with the other sparklers. Uh, yeah, that's a sparkler. So I'll put that one there. That's another sparkler there. They are very, very pretty. That's another sparkler. I think they're all left over from my row of diamonds painting that I got. Now these are square gems. Um, I have sorted out all my round gems now. Shall I put these, the square ones in? No, I think I'm going to keep them separate for now. This is a little box that I've got from a square, uh, from a round gems, um, and I'm using the same system as I do for all my other drill storage. But I've just sort of made the cards a little bigger and the bags are that little bit bigger as well. So I've got like silver, oh well that's a grey one, I need to make a new card. Then I've got silver ones, uh, far too many silver ones there. And I have also got my Scotty jar, my Grillo in the Dark sticker, Scotty and Heart that I made there. I don't know if you can quite see that yet, yeah, you can. And I've got all those silver as well. <laughs> So, uh, and I've got red and pink, I've sorted them all out into different pinks look and yes I am going through and colour matching when I do them. Uh, I've done all this because I've done so many special drill paintings that I've just, well I've spent days doing this to be fair. Um, so I've not really done much diamond painting because I've been sorting out all these drills and putting them into just different shade packets. Again, I think there probably is one for each DMC code number. Um, and then the greens are all in that one. I've got uh, blue in there. Again, all the different shades. You really do need, well, I need daylight to look at them to catch the different shades. Some of them you think, oh yeah, that's the same. And then when you get them in the same bag, they're not. So that's those. Uh, that's the oranges and browns and again that's the golds all different shapes of gold and yellow so they're all in there now so i've got my little box there and i'm not going to get any more than this box and i'm not going to have any more she says actually i'm going to take one of those out because i want a bag with a little piece of card in the little piece of card just helps them to stand up a little bit more. So let me just tip one of these bags into here and I'll put my others into my jar. I am getting organised. It's uh, quite scary. Okay, so that's those into there. So now I have one bag. So all the bags are matching and they're all in the colour order. And I'm going to try 
and deep it as I do a special drill diamond painting or a diamond painting that has an odd AB or whatever. I'm going to try and deke it them straight away so I don't end up with like, ugh, I just had like one of those little um, baskets absolutely packed in packets of drills and it's just too much to sort out. It may, it's going to make it easier if I can do it as I go along. <laughs> she says very tongue in cheek. Right, so I'm just going to put those into my jar. Um, I don't think I'll ever use these. I think it's just going to be really, really pretty when it's full. And my black Scotty and heart will just really show up with the uh, silver sparkle behind. <laughs> At the rate I'm going, uh, yeah, they're soon going to be filled up. This is all my previous um, gems that I've got. Look, look at that bag. But as I say, I tended to mix the colours then. Um, when I first started off, I thought, oh, it doesn't matter. And then it started to drive me mad when I was picking up a colour. And they were all different. So these are all going to be donated. Um, I've got a couple of places to send these to. So, yeah, they're all sparkly gems. And they will all go. So that's how many I've done. As you can see, I do do a lot of special drill paintings. So back to these. So these want squares on them. So we want, have we got the rainbow squares? We have. I did think I'd got a pack of rainbows as well. So we've got two greens. So we want two green stickers. And again, I'm just actually, I'm just going to put a square label on them. I'm not going to uh, put anything on because they're not ABs, the gems. So I'm just going to put those on there. And then that one is a red one, so I say we'll put pink on because it's the nearest we've got. And that one is a purple one, so we'll put purple on there. And I do believe they're black, so that's going to have to have the silver one on it. Okay, so that's those. So that's all the square gems. Right, and I think that is all the squares that I've got. Now then, that's got 5, 200 white and, five, and 3, 10 glow. Oh no, it's glow, sorry. So what do I do with those? I'm going to put new stickers on these and I'll put the grey ones on. Now I think they're more 3865 because they're an off-white, they're not the bright white, but they are glow in the dark, aren't they? Now I'm going to put um, glow and I'm going to put 3865. Sorry, I keep slipping out of picture, don't I, on this? So that's that one. It may seem a waste of stickers, but once I'm doing it now, I don't want to be redoing it. So I want to just, again, that's glow and that's 310. Okay, so that's those. Now then, these are jellies. That actually says YG03 on it. So I think that's just glow 03. I'm going to put a yellow sticker on it. So I'm just going to put glow. They're left over from my pumpkin paintings. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to put anything else on there. I'm just going to put glow because I don't think that number means anything. I think that's just the number that they used on the canvas. Okay, so that's that one. I'm sorry, this is turning into a really long video. Let's have a look at these. That I've got here, just bear with me a second. Okay, so now I'm going to do my sparklers. Now then, I have spent, again, hours sorting out my gem storage. So, what I've done, I've got, these are all my craft buddy gems here. And they all have numbers on them. Um, when you do a craft buddy kit, it actually comes. Let me see if I can find them. So when you do a craft buddy card, it comes with all the DMC numbers. So you can put your round drills away because all of craft buddy around. But it also then comes any special drill or any AB or whatever 
come with either an M, a Y, I think Y, X, all different codes on them. So what I'm doing is using these codes um, to sort out their gems and then I am matching up any of the other gems that I've got with the craft buddy ones. So let me think. Um, these are all like the round drills so that I've got them all in different uh, colours and they're all bagged up. Okay, they've all got the little round numbers on them. And then we've got, these are the MY ones. So these are all like marquees. And again, as I get a marquee gem, I check it off to see whether I've got any in here and put them together. The S's all seem to be teardrops. So I've got all the teardrops in here. So whether these actually mean anything or not, I don't know, but I've found that it's it's working at the moment, putting them like this. X's, well, at the moment are the stars. And then Y's are all the larger round gems. So as you can see, they're all different round large gems. There are A, Bs in here, but because these are the larger gems, this, you know, the extra special rather than just the standard small gems, uh, I'm keeping them in here rather than putting them with A, Bs. And then they do Y, X, which are like the um, extra specials and then the odd ones that you've got there as well, which are like flowers and resin flowers and little eyeballs and things that they do. So I've got those there. So hopefully in time, Oh, and I've got some beautiful little yellow flowers there, look as well, left over. Um, I may end up with them all with numbers on. Um, all of the others, at the moment, I've got them as a white. So white are all here. They're all the smaller gems. Now, I think some of those are glow in the dark as well. Um, that's 3865 really, but anyway... And then, so I've put all the rounds at the front behind the card, which are the pearls and faceted and non-faceted and all sorts. And then I put all the teardrops and the marquees behind a piece of card. And then I put any of the special shaped ones and that goes for all of them. So that's the silver, that's teardrops and marquees. And then all the different shaped ones that I've got or rounds with patterns on, so I've got stars and hearts and those that I absolutely love, they're like the little rectangles and they came with my Christmas house, I think that I did. So yeah, so I've got each of the colours, so I've got sil uh, white, silver, gold, um, orange, that red, pink, purple, green, blue, uh, yellow and black so each of those I've got divided um, into colour and then the larger rounds um, the marquees and teardrops and then all the different other shapes so they're all divided up into that so before I put any away in this side I just double check this side to see if there's any to go in there and that's how that box is organised and again that has taken me ages but I want to keep my sparklers separate because these are just like standard gems in this side. Um, all of the gems that I've got in this red box have been cross-referenced with those colours. So none of the colours in here are actually in any of those little bags there, which is quite scary. Again, we'll maybe get them matched up. I do think as well that the gems come in dye lots and I think some of them are possibly the same colour but it's a different dye lot so they've got a slightly different shade but I, I can't go with that I'm just going with what I'm doing at the moment and we'll see how it goes so that's that one organised I have got all my rounds and squares um, in different boxes as well so I've got two boxes for round just normal resin um, sorry the camera's moving isn't it I do apologise I've got two boxes um, for round and two boxes for square of the normal normal resin acrylic, just plain colours. Okay, so let's have a look at these, see if these match up to any of these. These are actually the, I think they're raw diamonds. 
um, and they've put their own numbers on. That one isn't, but these are how they came. I think these are all from like my mystery painting. So we've got a 9, 10, 6, 8, 20, 9, 1, 9, 3, 7, 6. So it looks like the do do, oh, that's got just a midnight on it. The um, sparklers in more or less each of the DMC codes as well, because these do match up to DMC codes. So let's see how we go. So these are the bottles that I've put ones in as I've been going along and matching them up. Now they look pretty much like that one to me. Oh, I don't know, are they a bit darker? It's very different. No, they are the same one, so I know what they are. So I'm back to my round stickers are then, they're squares. Okay, so I want a green. And it's got double, uh, TWK on it, look. So I'm going to put that on there. So it's TWK for Twinkler. 166. Okay. Oops. Stand still. Put that on there. I'm sorry, Hubby's got a bit of a cough at the moment. Keeping an eye on him. Shall I take that piece of card out? If you put a piece of card in, it just means the bags tend to stand up that little bit better. And that it stops them from going underneath. And I've just spilt those all over now. Why did I not have a tray underneath? Why did I not put a tray underneath? I know I'm tired and I know that I'm prone to spilling when I'm tired. Fortunately, there wasn't many in it and they've not gone very far. So we can just scoop those up and put them in. Okay. I think you can go on forever doing these, but at the moment, this is the way I want to uh, do it. So I'll we'll pop those twinklers there and get rid of that bag a minute. Right, so I like the clear ones. No, they're more of a brownie tinge. They're more of a sort of yellowy tinge. These are uh, just ones that I've got from kits that I've done. And so let's see if we can match any more of these up. So with no pinks. And yeah, 210. That's more of a purple, I think. It's more of an A, B, I think, rather than a twinkler. Oh, I don't know, though. Mm. Where is the crossover line, we ask ourselves? So that's a gold there. It's, they just have that extra A, B coating. They just twinkle that little bit more. I'm just trying to see if I've got any of these in these bottles. Too much on your desk. Too much on your desk. And then I will put all these and number these into separate bottles as well. Now then, okay, so some of them are crystals, some of them are twinklers. So that one's saying midnight. So that's not... Oh, that could be that one. Yeah, that's definitely that one, so I can match those up. But again, I haven't got a number for this one. So... Card out. Just put the tray underneath. They do pour better without the little in there. So that's oops. In you get static, static, static. Get out, get out. Just tap the little bag and just help them to get down there. I'll put them into the tray. Look, that might be easier. Yeah. Static drills. Okay, tip those into there. So that's that colour. We have no label for those. So I'm just going to put a clear round label on that one. And I'm going to put, oh, I should have written it before I put it on the stick. T W K. That's now then it's 
says they're crystals, they're crystals, they're crystals. Crystals, 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 crystals. So these are, that's a crystal. That's a gold twinkler. It doesn't look very twinkly, does it? But it says it's a gold one. Okay, so we just want some bottles. So we want a blue one and a yellow one. Okay, that's a twinkle up there. That's a yellow one. That's a twinkle up there. See, to me, that's more of a gold twinkler than that, isn't it? But anyway, so just put a twinkler. I'm going to put gold. You put a number on it, yeah, just put 919 on there. So let's put those into there. Blimey, will these go in or are they just going to be all static now? Let's just put them straight into the tray because these are very, very static. -y. I think you're all right if something's coming out of the bag for the first time, but if you've transferred it from one bag to another at any point, then you can find that uh, you end up with more static and it drives you potty. Well, it does me anyway. <laughs> They've never been out of that bag, so they just escorted themselves out quite nicely, thank you very much. Put that one in there as well, just one that's escaped. Okay. And that's that one. Oops, don't want to go in there. And then... And then we just want midnight, so we'll do this blue. So we're going to call it Twinkler, and they've called it Midnight. Oops, I can only just get that on there, look. But at least because I've taken the edging off, you can see where I am, and it's 294. Okay. These will play nicely. Come on, come on, in you get, in you get, in you get. Oh, 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 they're going, they're going, they're going, come on, come on, in you get, that's it. Okay, so that is all my special specials, extra specials, done. Okay, let me just put these bits out of the way. Right, so all I've got left now to do is, um, these are crystals and they are all DMC codes on them. So, 29210. I've already done this once, haven't I? And I've muddled them all up again because I thought they were crystals. As you can see, this is how my brain works. It never goes in any order. I just flip from one thing to another. But I will get there eventually. 3, 7, 5, 5, 8, 20. 6.05. So I'm not going to bore you by sorting these out, but what I'm going to do is, first of all, I will look through Craft Buddy Box and see if any of these colours here match up to these and see if the numbers on these do match up. 
um, because these are definitely DMC numbers from Rhode Island and if I haven't got them then I will create a new bag and they will go in this side because I know that these are the correct ones so anything that's numbered and ordered and correct will be going here and anything that I can't find the number for or I don't know will go in the other spare box if that makes sense so I will just pop those at the front there now I will probably sit in front of the telly tonight with my daylight light bulb um, and do those so that is that done okay well a bit of a, an impromptu video I hope you've uh, enjoyed just uh, going through my specials with me I seem to have a lot more ABs than I thought I had which is why they didn't all fit where I wanted them to go okay well if you've enjoyed this if you can give me a thumbs up it's always much appreciated and if you want to come back and see more and possibly see me use these and see what I get up to next, if you press that subscribe button and the little old notifications bell next to it, it's just that down there, down there, then uh, you'll be notified when any of my next videos come up. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.